about the painting, we we choose uh, the La Segueria de Carlo Cara. Um, we really uh, loved the a few things about this painting. The first thing is maybe the mountain evocation. Uh, we live in Geneva and we are <laughs> surrounded by mountains, so of course we really love love this. And uh, this was a part of our ch choice. The other thing that we really like was the, the use of the color and the, for example, the flat tint of the sky, which is very rich and very, uh, how to say, uh, nuanced. 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 Also, uh, we were quite uh, intrigued by the, the dark uh, window and the, the dark opening in the buildings and what it can suggest of something uh, strange and uh, maybe hiding something behind. So this was uh, the three points that we really liked about it. Wonderful. <laughs> and my compliments, because you have seen a lot of things, a lot of things that there is a, a reason for uh, these things. Uh, I have to begin for the for the first uh, things, I think. Carlo Carrai is one of the five founders of Futurism, but this painting is not Futurism. This painting is a, a third period of Carlo Carrà. To the painting of Brera, this painting of Brera is a third period. So you saw there is a, a there is a painter that uh, left uh, the the first period uh, have no a good impression by the second period, and for the first time he was alone. He can choose what he want, not the movement futurist, not the Kiriko, but only what he want. And uh, the mountains that you see at the mountain of Michelangelo Bonarroti is Alpi Apuane, is a mountain of the marble. For the Italian art is a mountain, um, the, from that mountain ca uh, came David of Michelangelo, the Pietà of Michelangelo. So is a, is not only a mountain, is a is an idea, is an art, is a, a place where art and nature came together, where, where nature of, uh, offered to the, to the artist something special, something unique, very silent, very uh, empty also. There is something that is completely different from futurist is a reflection period, is a moment that he had to choose this place because the son, the Carlo Carrasson has some problem of health. So uh, this, uh, this child need a mountain, but didn't also see. We are in, in Tuscany, we are near Carrara, so is a best place for the elf. But in, in the same time, Carlo Carrà want to paint. He's not only a father, he's, he, he's also a painter, you know. So this, all these things are in the painting. I think what uh, we can react of, uh, with uh, some things that you said, uh... In relations with the rim piece, uh, the first yeah. thing I want to say is that uh, when you said this emptiness, this quiet, yeah. and uh, it that was one of the things that we th immediate, immediately thought about uh, with the beginning of the piece, which is so sparse and so quiet and so uh, out of time in a sense that we really felt was connected uh, to to this feeling. The other thing is that. Uh, we also saw like this uh, industrial machine in the center of the painting yeah, that we yeah, also yeah. relate with some other parts of the piece later on. Uh, cutting uh, through stone requires quite some violence also. And in the, in the center of the piece, there's this central part that is 
absolutely crazy and uh, and very violent. And we could, as in the painting, it's empty and it's quiet. But if it were, and we can assume that at some point it was used, um, it would make a lot of noise, uh, yeah. be, uh, uh, take a lot of energy and have these kind of small explosions and all kinds yeah. of, uh, of things. And so we imagined also that with this painting. And um, and then and and the number of things uh, uh, about uh, um, um, the way to to paint of Kara, also when there is nothing to see, uh, there is a, there is no people, there is no animals, there is a color. So we have a lot of colors, not only in the sky, but also in the roof, uh, also um, in in the ground. I I, I think uh, because this is uh, the um, the different way to paint uh, that he chose after the other period. In the first and in the second period, Carlo Carrà has some rules. Uh, some um, some indication that uh, for the painting is better do in this way mm. this time uh, he is completely free and it, it also comes back with uh, Volkan Grimm what you just said because uh, one of the big um, things that uh, Rim uh, wants to say in his music is like first there was tonality then in the beginning of the 20th century uh, all this uh, atonality and he wants as Carra, as you described he wants to to break free of all rules yeah so yeah he allows himself to use harmony to use tonality atonality and he's also completely free from this other not his periods but musical periods uh, from uh, yeah, the past yeah, so yeah, it's yeah, all, yeah. exactly the same actually <laughs> 